This initiative seeks to design, develop and operate Sydney's first purpose-built, culturally and linguistically diverse aged care facility. The facility will be built next to the Auburn Gallipoli Mosque. Well, I have to say we are extremely honoured to be entrusted by the Gallipoli Welfare Society to be the deliverers of what we believe will be probably one of the world's best facilities for our aged. That all elderly people, regardless of religious persuasion, regardless of colour, regardless of ethnicity and regardless of gender, need to be cared for. There is an amazing opportunity here to create an engagement between the aged care facility and probably your most important community asset, the mosque. Whenever a young man or woman look after an elderly person because of their age, then God will definitely appoint somebody for this young person when they become old to look after them also. It's an honor to actually be here in such a very important cause for the elderly. You know, the, the hadith that Sheikh Muhammad Abdullah were mentioning, like they, they hit our heart to let us know the importance of the elderly in our community. Not only the elderly, but the fact that they're our parents. And our parents are, you know, they're our backbone of society. Therefore, the Gallipoli Welfare Society should be applauded for intending and taking all the necessary measures and steps forward. As you walk through the, the main entrance of the facility, what appears through the entrance is the mosque with its grand dome and turrets, minarets, in your sight. So when you're walking in through the facility, the mosque is always in your sight and in your mind. The engagement is critical to make both feel part of each other. A project like this isn't somewhere where you can just, you know, get rid of parents because they're a burden. It's nothing like that. It, it's beautiful and, and blimey, the, the guys who, the, the architects, did, didn't they just take you there? Didn't you just feel like you're actually there? I went over to my wife afterwards. She said, when can we move in? And I'm sure she, that was, she wasn't the only one in the room saying that. Nor is there any way in this world that I could ever repay you. So instead, I pray every day for you that Allah has mercy on you the same way you had mercy on me. And I have one last request for you before you leave, please. Since Allah put paradise beneath your feet, Please ask Allah to let paradise be the place where we finally meet. Amen. To wholeheartedly support this initiative and more importantly to pray for its success and for its blessing. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may God Almighty give us all the opportunity to serve humanity at large and to look after the aged among us. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. <laughs>